Hey guys, depending how far you are in your healing and detox journey, uh, you may have seen this diagram before. Even if you haven't, I'm going to explain some theoretical examples of how our body makes different substances to um, do the different things it needs to for life. Um, I don't understand this stuff completely, so uh, that's um, why I'm not going to go into a bunch of detail. I'd also like to try to keep this video short. So. This is our body's nutritional engine. Uh, it takes various forms of nutrition and it turns them into different things. Methionine is a, a common um, sulfur-based amino acid that our body requires for nutrition. And when we have it, we can start working our way down around these different processes. Uh, what goes on is when we need to use it for these different processes, we burn up the, the thing that's made it that far on whatever that might be. I believe these guys here are what makes our happy drugs, our epinephrines, and all the different things that keep our mood in check. So if we need those, we're going to turn methionine into that. If we don't need it, uh, I believe we're going to make it to the next step and keep going. And sometimes we have to burn this stuff up on things that aren't necessarily something we want to do, but it's a cleanup from something else. Uh, down here we have... Um, this process here is increased when we have oxidized LDL, and that's turned into uric acid. Well, that means we had to burn up some some of this process along with some more nutrition along the way. If we don't have the nutrition, we couldn't have made it that far. We might have made this guy here and lagged out on it, and we might get stuck with a bunch of that, and our body might not like that. Um, and that's why we need to have all the different nutrition on hand to make it all the way through all these different pieces and have our engine running properly. So um, let's say we get our methionine and we make it all the way down to homocysteine. This is where our body um, either decides which route to use the homocysteine or gets stuck not being able to use it for anything because every path that it wants to take is shut down. Um, it may want to go, it may want to make more methionine if our if we have low methionine this process here is increased it's like a um, check valve it's like well I need more of this stuff so why don't you guys come on this way except it depends on this process here to go in a circle and allow this one to happen and this guy here to come in and allow that to happen and if these things don't exist and aren't coming in then we're not going to get there and the homocysteine isn't going to be able to take that route because nothing will allow it to burn um, and for this example, to get this part here to go, we need some uh, choline and we need some betaine. And those are from high nutritious vegetables or whatever, you know, wherever we might get those. We can supplement with them if we know that we need them and we need to help that pathway. But if we don't need them and we supplement with them, we might just be taking a substance that our body now has to essentially detox. It's not nutrition at that point. It has to process it with energy that's you know could be used somewhere else to get rid of it um, another thing that's gonna need to happen here is uh, we need to be able to process B vitamins um, if we're not methylating B because we're either so overloaded by some type of toxicity like mercury for example or we're not able to um, convert our proper folate into whatever it is that we need to make it over here to allow this process to go on we're not going to be able to run this process we're not going to be able to run these processes and all this stuff just essentially shuts down um, the lack of methylation up here is um, this is more due to the uh, gene mutation not making it in but there's also we can also cause the gene mutation by not having the nutrients that our body might need or the energy that we need to get those processes done. Um, that's usually when people have bad reactions to medications and um, get pretty sick all the time. Uh, another path that the homocysteine would like to take if everything's in great order is coming down here to make glutathione. Um, there's some stuff that has to happen along the way. Uh, we 
disconnect the carbon from the sulfur and send that down different paths and hope that those paths can use them the right way or else they're going to back up and things aren't going to be running the right way and we're going to overload on homocysteine or whatever it might be. So if we make it all the way down to glutathione, we now run into what I think is actually a pretty common issue. Um, I believe this is where I was stuck for a long time without realizing. Uh, if we either don't have the selenium um, to create our selenium glutathione, whatever that one's called, I can never remember the name, we're not gonna do all this stuff and we're not going to activate the glutathione. If we don't have whatever this guy is, we're not gonna activate the glutathione and it's actually going to negatively feed back to this process here and I, I believe this is where I was stuck. I was getting all of the pieces that I needed to to what I thought give my body the building blocks to make these pieces but it wasn't until I got the NAC supplement that I like somehow activated a ton of glutathione or something and fired off a bunch of I had a bunch of B vitamins take off or whatever it was and you know my I felt great but my emotions were all over the place and I was most likely burning off toxicity that I wasn't able to because these whatever these pieces are were never happening and I was never converting toxins and actually getting them out um, this is twofold what's going on here one it's taking our nutrients and converting them in to the things we need making the substances we need to either fix or create um, our cells and DNA or neurotransmitters and it's also uh, cleaning up the either the processes that happen from those um, that the leftover processes that happen from that or just toxicity whether we're breathing the toxicity in right now or we've got it built up from birth or we took a bunch of medication whatever it is um, this is a really advanced crazy magical engine and um, all we need to do is feed it the right stuff uh, Dr. Uh, Larry Wilson, you can look him up on, uh, on a search engine. Um, he's got a free nutritional plan that explains um, how to eat to balance this stuff. And it's actually really simple. It's really just including a lot of vegetables in your diet. And, <coughs> excuse me, and removing the stuff that like the, the bad animal products that are loaded with bad stuff and whatever it might be he just goes over the pretty simple stuff that allows us to break it down to a pretty general form um there's also doctors that all can fix this stuff with supplementation um some of us may be able to benefit from, benefit from that if we're really we've got a lot of these systems shut down um we're still going to want to eat real food on top of that though so uh, I believe it starts with eating the real food, spend a couple months, see if our body responds to that and gets the things that it needs to start fixing stuff. And if not, then we look into somebody that can help us get the, the right set of nutrition that are, or nutrients that are going to go through and, and fix whatever system isn't running to allow the rest of the systems to take off and get the nutrients all the way out and get us back to living a non-toxic life um so i hope this helped just a little bit understand what's going on um you know the drill uh, share it subscribe and um thanks for joining